Creatives, Joseph Sakar here and welcome back. Now, um, you guys don't need me to sit here and tell you how chaotic the world is right now, but what I thought I'd do is lighten the mood a bit and give you some ideas you can use to make use of that time that you'll have now. Uh, perhaps you're isolating and you've got plenty more hours on your hands to spend at that piano. So, I want to explore three ways that you can just sit and play that piano for hours, forgetting about the world and just losing yourself in the music, getting creative with it at the same time, exercising that musical ear and those core fundamental musician skills. Kind of what my channel is all about. For idea number one, we're gonna start off by looking at how we can just confine ourselves to a few notes in the right, a few notes in the left, get creative with them, and create some um, really nice music on the fly, um, you know, and try and get into a bit of a flow with it. So, right hand into this position right here, Okay, we want our thumb on the G, finger one on the G, uh, second finger on the B, third on the C, fourth on the D, and little finger on the E. Your right hand isn't gonna change from this position. Now, there are obviously things you can do um, outside of these notes, but for now, this is uh, a really good little position. You can lock yourself down into these notes so you're not getting overwhelmed. Thumb on the G, B, C, D, and E, okay? Now, the idea is we're gonna start just playing these notes. We're not going to worry about rhythm in this stage. We're just going to start playing around. Put the pedal down. And just play any single finger that comes to mind. And try not to think about it. Just start playing like this. And just get used to that. Just get used to choosing which fingers to use, which notes to play on the fly. Left hand you're going to accompany yourself using the C down here, okay? So we're kind of hinting at chords down here. We're not playing the actual chords. We're going to strip that away, and we're just playing single notes, technically. Um, I'm using octaves, but you can feel free to use single notes uh, if you struggle with the octave. So we're going to use a C. We're going to use a B. We're going to use an A. A G. Okay, so you limit yourself to those five notes. Three. So the idea here is you're locked into the right hand, you know what notes you're playing. You're locked into the left hand, you know what notes you're playing. And you're going to move the left hand on each first beat of the bar. And you're going to move the right hand using quavers or eighth beats. So it sounds like this. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. One, and two. So notice how I'm playing two notes per bar, two notes per beat in the right, and I'm moving on the bar in the left. Okay? And that's it, you know? Just using this, you can start really developing your sense of melody, your creativity, because you're not locked into anything. You're not learning anything here. You're not learning anything specific. You're trying to forget about all that and just play. Just sit and play. So if I speed that up a little bit, um, and give you an idea of what I mean when you get kind of get used to it. I'm kind of hinting at the next stage here, but um, anyway, you get the idea. Let's move on to stage number two, or idea number two, and that is playing with this and taking it a little bit further by introducing um, rhythmic variation. And that's it. You just want to add in one layer so you're not overwhelming yourself and you can still maintain that creative flow with it. So I'll play you a little bit of it. Um, this is the kind of thing I want. how I'm just bringing in little gaps in the right where I feel like it, yeah? And sometimes it might sound bad, sometimes it might not sound, you know, particularly nice. But that's fine, that's absolutely fine. It's all part of the process of just sitting for hours and honing your musical ear, your skills. I 
cannot help myself just as I'm playing that. I'm thinking of stuff all the time. And uh, I'll just finish off by saying you can add in, okay, this F at the top and that'll unlock new melodic potential for you. So instead of just here, you can alternate between this position and this position, adding that F down here. And also in the left, when you're ready, add in the E at the bottom as well. And you've got two extra little notes there to add in to this uh, mix that you're playing around with, okay? So we could get things like this, you know. It's a bit cheesy, but that's not right. We like a bit of cheese. Anyway, all right, so that's idea number two. Now on to idea number three. This is kind of like my own personal go-to kind of way of being able to just generate ideas and try and get into a bit of a flow. Now I've stripped it back from what I do, uh, so this is the bare bones of it, but I think you might enjoy this one. So I'm gonna use our trusty power chord, talk about it all the time, beautiful chord for just, you know, create, being able to create some really nice sounding music. I'm gonna get into this position here. Now, C, G, and the top C, and we're gonna move between this position, we're gonna add this B in at the top, like this, that's another position, this A, that's another position, and then this F here. So we're gonna move between these positions here, this one here, which is like a, um, an, F, an F, F power chord, C power chord, like this, add in the A, and add in the B. <coughs> Excuse me. I have got virus, promise. Now here, we're going to go back to our trusty quavers, and we're going to start using any of those positions at random to start creating a little bit of a melody. Okay? Now bear in mind, you can, if, if, this if this big stretch is a struggle, then you can just forget about that low C. It does sound better when it's in, but you can just play all of this from here. Yeah? Exactly the same, just forgetting about that low C if, if you're struggling with that span. But I do encourage you to try this if you can. Left hand exactly the same as in idea one and two. We're gonna play around with these notes here. And you can add in the E if you've, already, if you've, if you've given that a go. So I'll start playing around with it. We'll move the left hand on the first beat of the bar each time, and then the right hand, we're simply just restraining ourselves or restricting ourselves to quavers only, so. I'm kind of still restricting myself here. My, my, my left hand is on the beats, my right hand is purely quavers. Um, but we can start moving that left hand around in different rhythms as well, so. To show you this without using that C, in case you're struggling with that, we could get this kind of a sound. Yeah? So it's very similar. point is here, this isn't about, you know, playing epic, awesome music straight away. This is about play. It's about experimentation. You know, my daughter, she's eight months old now, and she's falling flat on her face all the time. She's desperately trying to crawl, but she's falling over all the time. You know, she's making all those mistakes, and, and that's how she's learning. That's how she's developing. So these are some ideas for you to while away those hours, sat at the piano, developing your core skills. Play, experiment, have fun, be creative. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and if you do fancy checking out my free resource, The Best Adult Piano Practice Plan, then I'll put a link in the cards 
information box down below as well. Remember to hit that like button if you like this video, smash that subscribe button as well as that notification bell next to it so you know when I upload new videos and I will see you, I will see you in the next video. Stay well, stay safe. Peace.